video will model a microchannel heat exchanger. To begin, click on the new icon in the top left hand corner. The new coil wizard will appear. On the coil type screen, select microchannel heat exchanger using headers. The next screen allows you to select a solver type. In this example, we'll use the facet solver, which is a mass flow rate based solver and is appropriate to use when it can be assumed that the mass flow rate is evenly distributed among the splitting circuits. The microchannel tube import information window allows you to set the tube dimensions and spacing. Note that information can be set in either SI or English units. Next is the fin information window. Here you can specify the general fin parameters. as well as the fin type and geometry. The refrigerant screen allows you to set the external fluid, which we'll leave as air, and the refrigerant. Note that there is a long list to choose from. All of the refrigerants included in the RefProp database are included with Coil Designer. You can also specify a user-defined fluid as well as a mixture. Next is the heat transfer correlation and pressure drop correlation window. It's important to specify correlations that are appropriate for your application, such that you can get accurate results. Now the wizard is finished. Next, we need to specify our header connections. Right-click in the lower right-hand corner of the screen to add a header. First, let's add our inlet. Specify the pressure and temperature conditions. Tubes 1 through 50 will be used for the downstream tubes. The next header is going to be an intermediate header with tubes 1 through 50 and the upstream orientation and tubes 51 through 71 and the downstream orientation. Lastly is the outlet. Here, tubes 51 through 71 will be in the upstream orientation. Next, we need to specify the air side parameters. Click on any of the boxes in the, in the segments view. Here, you can specify the temperature, relative humidity, and velocity for each and every one of the segments across the front of the coil, if you so desire. This allows you to account for 2D air mail distribution. Alternatively, you can specify that these parameters are the same across the face of the coil, and we'll do so in this example. Now the coil is ready to run. Click on the green Run button, and the results are quickly generated. Results are available across the various tabs and can also be exported to Excel.